Hello everyone. This is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published around 55 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts. So from couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and challenges and how can we solve those obstacles by using Tricentis Tasca. So this is our obstacle 14 in terms of real time scenarios and this is our lesson 56 in terms of overall advanced training. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. In this lesson, we are going to solve an obstacle by using the methods like capturing dynamic date and using date expression to calculate the calendar date. So now let us go and see what is the obstacle that we need to solve for. So here is an obstacle named as confusing dates and it is categorized as medium. Let us go for it. Let us see what's the obstacle. So we are going to generate a new date in the US format by pressing the calendar button. This is our calendar button. As soon as you press this, it generates a dynamic date in US format, month, date, year. Then use Tosca base functions to calculate the first of the second following month of the generated date. So the new date that has to be entered in the edit box here has to have the ISO format. For example, your initial date is December 24, 2015. Then you need to calculate the first of the second following month. If you see here, what is your second following month? Your second following month is February 2016. Right? First of your second following month. And first of the second following month. That means first day of your second following month which is which is february 2016 for example in this case this is 25th january 2028 what is your second following month your second following month is march what is your first day of march which is 01 that means this becomes 2028 which is in iso format okay 2028 hyphen March which is 03 and what is your first day of March 01 then you need to click on this button if it is correct yes you solve this automation problem successfully okay so whenever I click on let me try again so whenever you click this calendar button this date keeps changing now how can we solve this obstacle we have to see. So let us go back to our present task and as you all know we have we are capturing all the objects pertaining to each obstacle under obstacles folder. So again I am going to right click on this obstacles folder select scan and select application. So this is the application that I would like to capture. Select the application, click on scan. So now what we need to capture, we need to capture the object two buttons, calendar button, submission button, right? 
and then this state field and this edit box. So total four objects, two buttons. That means this is one button where I'm generating the date, and this is my second button where I'm submitting once I enter the date, and this is the date where I'm generating the date. Correct? So the date field where the date is gener where the date is generating, and then I'm entering the date after solving the problem which is date solution so two buttons two edit boxes okay so now let us rename this module as obstacle name let's go back here this is my obstacle name copy this and then rename this module so it is important to rename the module now save your objects click on save and then close your x scan so let's go back to trison to tosca if you see here if you scroll down this is my latest obstacle double click on this so you should see two buttons two edit boxes right so now let us go to left side of the section which is blue section test case section here Let's right click on this obstacles folder, create a new test case, name with the same name of your obstacle. Double click on this particular test case. Now, how can we solve this one? Let's go back to our presentation. So first, we need to create configuration parameters. Let's go back here now. Let's automate the test case. To automate your test case, we need to drag this module and drop onto your test case. So before we populate the values in the test case, we need to do two things. We have to create configuration parameters for the date fields, for this field and for this field. Okay, let's go back here. For that, you need to go to your module section, open the properties of the module. This is my first date generated field. Here, I need to create a new configuration parameter to instruct Tosca that my target date format is this. Okay, for that, right click on this particular module and select create configuration parameter. Now, name this as target date format. So, you need to make sure that. The capital letters, small letters, everything matches as it is. Target date format. Okay. So let's go back to our presentation. Target date format. What is the format? My format is MDYYY. So here I'm going to mention this as M forward slash D forward slash YYY. YYYY m d y y y y okay so this is my format and then again the same we need to apply for date solution which is this one right so here i've selected date solution right click create configuration parameter target date format you need to make sure the spelling a okay? target date format and now what is the target date format m forward slash d forward slash y y y y so i have defined a standard date format for these two date fields okay so once that is done what we need to do now let's go back to our test case start automating your test case here first you need to click on your button correct to click on the button what we have to do we have to simply select click here click operation click operation your action mode should be input 
okay and then date generated here what we need to do we need to capture or we need to store the date that is generated here this date i would like to store into a buffer first for that what i'm going to do here inner text i'm going to name this as generated date this is my buffer i'm capturing the i'm capturing the inner text of that particular field into a buffer your action mode should be buffer so now i captured the inner text into a buffer called generated date and then what we need to do and then what we need to do we need to use a date expression to calculate the first day of second month of the generated date how can we do that here let's go back here because we already captured the generated date into a buffer so here what i'm going to do open curly braces and then month first there is a method called month first month first of your buffer what is this the current date that is generated again open curly braces capital b open square braces generated date this is my buffer close square braces close curly braces now i am calculating the month first of the generated date but i don't want to calculate the first day of the generated date i want to calculate the first day of second month of the generated date for that what i'm going to do here to add so if you see here to add month to the current date we need to simply use square braces plus 2 m i'm adding two months for this particular generated date and then here i need to specify the date format in which i would like to enter the date what is the date format my date format is yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd so here double quote yyyy Iphone mm iphone dd double quote. Now close your curly braces. I'm doing closing the curly braces of this first month. So now click on some other place. It should turn into so it did not turn means that means there is some problem in our code base. Okay, so here we forgot to close another square braces. Okay, so here month first we need to start with the square braces. Basically, month first open square brace and your buffer, right? Plus two months, and then you are closing your square braces for this one. So now it should turn into this format. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm calculating the first day of the month. what month your generated date plus 2 months and i'm using the format of iso format that is what i'm calculating here and then i'm entering the calculated value in this particular date solution field now let me show you see here open curly braces month first see here month first what is the definition let me show you the definition is month first date this is your date and then you can use your offset do you want to add one month or do you want to add a day right and then you can specify the format of your date so same thing now once that is done so now you need to click on your button which button this button i have already entered 
the date first of the second following month of your generated date that I entered in this particular text box. Now click on this particular button. Here select click. Now save. Now change the work state of your test case to completed. Now save the test case. So let us run this particular test case and see what happens. Right click run in scratch book. See it generated the date, it entered the date, click on submit. So there is something wrong that we are doing. 202707 instead of okay so it is calculating wrongly let's go back here now let's go back here and see what wrong that we are doing okay so now i understand what is the mistake we, what we are doing here so we need not to consider inner text basically what you can do is you can simply specify the buffer means this is your edit box right so that's why you can simply this date generated you can specify the buffer here and then enter the buffer name and also what we are doing here right so because this is your date it is not a text or string so your data type should be date so we should not forget you need to store the value of this particular edit box right directly into your buffer in the data type date save this now let us run this particular test case again right click and run the test case in scratch book it generated a date it entered the date successfully completed if you see here what date we it calculated 3rd of april what is your second month from the April, which is June, May, June. And what is the first day, which is 01. And what is the format, ISO format. So your automation problem solved. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. So you all understand the concept where you need to solve for, you need to solve for an obstacle where we have to use Tosca based functions to calculate the first day of the second following month of the generated date in the date field and then the newly calculated date we have to enter into an editable text box. So here we are using our dynamic date expressions and we are calculating the calendar date please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you